so 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 and grow 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 guys so today we are going to be talking about fruit trees guys fruit trees so guys today we are talking about my fruit trees and i made a section on my back patio guys so i can have all my fruit trees in one area so i'm gonna just gonna show you guys it's about the storm out here and i want to get this video over so i finally 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 got a fig tree a fig tree guys yes she's in a little you know a little bad shape but i fixed her up cleaned her up put her home got her on clearance so i'm so excited finally got me a fig tree it's the ficus the common one so yeah i got one i finally got one i'm excited for her and I changed her out to a 10 gallon pot there. All right, and then I finally took my banana plant out of the greenhouse. Now this is strange, okay? Because now this one here, this one's been outside for the longest time. And as you guys seen when I repotted these, this was the smallest one. Look how huge this baby is now compared to the one that was in the greenhouse. Um, and I'm going to let you know when I had it out here, when I repotted, I left it outside and it burnt a lot of the leaves. So I think it started stunning the growth on that. But nonetheless, they're looking good, guys. Those are my banana plants there. They are the dwarf cabin ones. And the back right there does have a little bit of cilantro in the back right there. Um, right here is my orange tree here. I repotted her also. She is in a seven gallon container here. Here is my Myers lemon right there. I took some cuttings off of her. So I left one there for me. <laughs> um, also, this is my pomegranate tree here. She's got some flowers and things are falling off of her also looking good though this is my blueberry you got some new growth right there on the top as you guys can see here I sold in a mango this is the Mexican mango in this one and then this took root guys it won't move it's stuck in there and this is my you see what it is coconut 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 green thumb garden channel what I did Look what I did. I did this because of you. And it worked. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Coconut. Yes, guys. The Green, <coughs> the green Thumb Gardening Channel. Check him out. He's really, really good. Yes, baby. Yes. I put another mango in here. And this is a... Uh, what is this one? This one is the uh, Champagne Mango. And then I have in here a um, papaya so I'm so excited for my papaya plant guys so this is what it's looking like guys yes my fruit tree lane that's what I'm gonna call it because this is one lane one lane it's saying it's own lane fruit tree lane guys looks good doesn't she so I'm so excited I need to come all the way back so you guys beautiful Let me show you how my other trees are faring out over here okay these are two figs fiddle uh, figs now remember guys when I chopped her all the way back look at all the leaves that's grown on her since she's been out here she's beautiful she's gorgeous so yeah all right this is the other one and these are seven gallon row bags all right these are my LA lilies I guess they are finished for the summer but it still has nice green foliage on there. All right, and these are my mass canes. Um, they are starting to get acclimated to the weather outside, so I'm gonna leave them outside over winter. There's a new one there. And then I have these, what is this called? Majestic Palm. I have two of these plants back here. So guys, that's what I did, I just, Put all my trees in the back. And I think my fruit trees look good too back here. So, yeah. So that's what it looks like, guys. And don't forget, guys, let's grow together so we can eat together. And stay safe from this weather. Please.